Okay, so you just updated a WordPress plugin, or at least you tried to update a WordPress plugin, and you received an error that was something like destination folder already exists. Now, this is something that happens when an update fails in WordPress. Now, this, this failure is not necessarily due to your site specifically. It's not necessarily specific to your host. And it's not necessarily specific to the actual WordPress directory, but it is likely related to one of those things. Most of the time, it is due to the WordPress directory because there are, think about it, millions and millions of other people updating the same plugin at the same time as you. So there's a lot of calls and going back and forth from many different locations, and there's a risk of, of a failure happening. And what happens is sometimes when you uh, when this when this fails when a plugin update fails, files will actually be removed during the process of updating, and then when the files are removed, the plugin is still technically on your server, but WordPress can't recognize it because it's missing important files. So this is what you need to do to remove it. Now, uh, this is a common thing that I've seen with the Yoast SEO plugin. It's one of the most popular plugins in the WordPress directory, uh, free plugins that is. So, so it is quite common for it to happen for the popular plugins. It happens for all the others too, but it's more common when it's a popular plugin. So uh, there's a really good, uh, you can see on the screen, there's a really good uh, tutorial on how to fix this on your site, how to remove the folder that already exists uh, on that's on your server. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway, but I'm, I will also link to this um, article uh, in the knowledge base from the Yoast website. But let's dive into my FTP, because as you can see here, the solution is to actually remove it via FTP. Okay, so right now I am in Transmit. That is my FTP software. You might be using Firezilla or any of those cute FTP or Duck FTP or any of those, whatever is out there, whatever FTP you're using you need to have an FTP software in order to do this. If you don't have FTP software, Firezilla is 100% free. In fact, it is open source, similar to WordPress. Okay, so uh, once you are there, you need to actually know your FTP credentials. You need to get that from your host if you do not know that. If you're using GoDaddy, go to GoDaddy to find it. SiteGround, go to SiteGround. Imagely, go to Imagely, and so on to find your FTP or SFTP. Hopefully it's SFTP, F SFTP because that's more secure. Okay, once you're there, you go to WP content into that folder. Now, again, this is a folder structure. It's gonna be similar to uh, what is uh, on your desktop computer. Uh, note that don't delete stuff. You're not supposed to delete because WordPress needs all these files. Um, so once you're in WP content, go to plugins, and then you're gonna go to whatever the plugin. So for example, if it's Yoast SEO, the folder is actually WordPress hyphen SEO and then you're going to just delete that. So you're gonna right click and delete, uh, which is here. Or uh, for me, I would just hit command delete. I'm not gonna do that because I don't actually want to delete it from my live site. But if it was broken, you would basically go to the plugin folder for that plugin and you would delete the folder. Most likely the included files in the folder would be minimal. It would be maybe a handful of files because the, it was a failed update. So that's what you would do. You would delete the folder that is there. And then once that's done, you would go back to your WordPress site. And then after you're back at your WordPress site, you would reinstall that plugin from the WordPress directory. Now, if you're worried about uh, your settings being removed or deleted or reset, they should not. Uh, if a plugin is coded well, your settings should not change. Everything should be back in place. Uh, some plugins do offer an uninstall, but because this is sort of a failed update, the uninstall process was not done, so all of your settings should be good. So that's how you do it. Uh, if you need help with accessing FTP or SFTP, again, contact your host. Hopefully, they will be able to help you with that. Uh, I don't see why they shouldn't, because that is what they're there to do. So there you go. That is what to do if you get the destination folder already exists error due to a failed WordPress plugin update.